Okay, well, I'm gonna consider myself done. This is what I got out of it. A tiny bit of contouring, but it's like it seems like it comes out not as evenly as I hoped. So, and I feel like I just have a little bit more control when I'm going over it with my own brush. Um, I probably would take this back to Sephora, um, except I did get it online. And I called them because I actually got it through Amazon, but Sephora shipped it. Um, and I had an Amazon gift card. Um, so Sephora, I got it from Sephora. My, my, my receipt is from Sephora. Um, but after I got it, I figured, oh, I had an Amazon gift card, but I still wanted to order from you guys. Um, so I tried to apply the points to my account. I called them and I explained that I did buy it from them and I paid, I actually paid more because if I would have bought it from Sephora, I would have gotten free shipping and I had to pay $7.99 for shipping. And they wouldn't let me apply the points to my Sephora account, which um, that sucks because that's a lot of points. I could be getting some awesome products right now and I'm not. So um, I did get an extra foundation pod and I probably would have taken it back then and tried to get a darker shade because the shade that they matched me with was a little light and I do spray tan so my shade does kind of fluctuate um, a lot. Um, so yeah, that's my, that's my take. I'm not in love with it. Um, it does last a long time, I can give you that. I just think that there are other foundations that last a long time and the machine maybe I need maybe I need a lesson because <laughs> I, I watched a few videos and I just think um, that there's other makeup out there that can do just as good of a job if not better so I do think there are a lot of other things out there that work just as well for a lot less money. Um, I think maybe spending, um, I know my Chanel foundation was $55, but I feel like I don't wear it every day. I just wear it on the weekends and for weddings and parties and stuff. So I do feel like it's worth the price and I can stretch it out. And I feel like anyone buying a Temp Do is probably not wearing it every single day unless they're, you know, making appearances every day. So, Personally, I would not recommend the Temp Do to a friend. If they had their heart set on it, I would try to sell mine to them. <laughs> so if you guys have any Temp Do recommendations, you've learned some tricks, or you really think Sephora will exchange my, um, my extra pod, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Because I don't think they will, and I don't like when people say no. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Hope this helped. Subscribe.